what is this brilliant article of Dinesh D'Souza? So I went and read it on Forbes. It was rather long. And uh, I was amused by it. Because first he begins with, nobody could understand what Obama's policies are. And he has a laundry list of policies he disagrees with. But he doesn't say he disagrees with them. He says, who can figure this stuff out? He wants health care for Americans. Crazy. I can't figure it out. It's so weird and irrational. And he goes down the whole list. And he says, then he asks finally, and he says, look, a lot of people have two theories. One is that he's a socialist. And that the other one is that he's totally clueless about business. Really, that was, those were the only two theories available on Obama, apparently. Right? He says, no, I've got a third theory. It's not either one of those. And here comes the first quote. He says, the real pro problem with Obama is worse, much worse. Here's a man who spent his formative years, the first 17 years of his life, off the American mainland, in Hawaii, Indonesia, and Pakistan, with multiple subsequent journeys to Africa. A good way to discern what motivates Obama is to ask a simple question. What is his dream? Is it the American dream? Is it Martin Luther King's dream? Or something else? And then he goes on to answer the question by saying, well, of course, it's something else. It's his dad's dream. You know, his dad, who's a Kenyan. So it uh, goes back and dredges up uh, all these old things that his dad had written or thought about or contemplated. And he says back in, in the 1950s, his dad was against colonialism in Kenya. Who was for colonialism in Kenya in the 1950s other than the colonialists? Everybody in Kenya was against it, right? And, and, but Dinesh D'Souza goes, aha, I got him. And everything he says obviously applies to Obama. Uh, Obama Sr., Obama Jr., those are the words he keeps using. So uh, here comes his smear of uh, Obama's dad. It's okay, and you know, he finds an article, and he's got a quote in there. So you want to have at it, have at it. But Obama's dad is not Obama, and this is not 60 years ago. But I'll give you the quote. Here it is. He says, the senior Obama proposed that the state confiscate private land and raise taxes with no upper limit. In fact, he insisted that, quote, theoretically, there is nothing uh, that can stop the government from taxing 100% of income, so long as the people uh, get benefits from the government commensurate with their income, which is taxed. Remarkably, President Obama, who knows his father's history very well, has never mentioned his father's article. Yeah, he's also not mentioned probably 128 other articles his dad has written, because they were written in the 1950s and 60s. And Barack Obama didn't write them. His dad did in a totally different time, for totally different context. Does he have to go out there and say, all right, uh, dad's article number 87, kind of like the beginning, don't like the end. Dad's article number 88, mm, largely disagree with most of it, but it applies to Kenya and not here. Aha! Since he didn't disavow one article I found about his dad, obviously he agrees with everything his dad says, and that's why he's trying to take white people's money. Oh, oops, did I say that out loud? That's where they're driving with this thing. Do you understand it? Oh, taking all the people's money and giving it, redistributing it, like oh, that Glenn Beck talks about, Rush Limbaugh talks about, etc. All right, so, quote number three. Now, now that he's set it up, and now we understand what Kenyan anti-colonialist Barack Obama is, apparently, or Obama Jr., as he keeps calling him, he has this conclusion. Dinesh D'Souza says, Incredibly, the U.S. is being ruled according to the dreams of a Luo tribesman of the 1950s, the philandering, inebriated African socialist who raged against the world for denying him the realization of his anti-colonial ambitions, is now setting the nation's agenda through the reincarnation of his dreams in his son. How many racial slurs can you fit in a sentence? This little tribesman <laughs> with his philandering, inebriated African socialist, raging, as you know the angry black men tend to do. He is somehow in a mind meld controlling his son 60 years later, and that is why Obama is doing all these things so that Kenya could be free. And that relates to our health care in this country. How? Ah, who cares? Just throw a lot of African stuff on there and smear them and then hope it sticks. And that's the Republican strategy, which, by the way, I'm sure Dinesh D'Souza and Newt Gingrich would also apply 
to conservative uh, figures like the Koch brothers, who finance almost all of the conservative infrastructure, have spent hundreds of millions of dollars doing so. You know the Koch brothers, uh, you know who their dad was? Their dad made their initial fortune by working with a guy named Joseph Stalin. So I'm sure the Koch brothers agree with Joseph Stalin and agree with working with Stalin, right? Right? Because everything their dad did, they did and agree with, right? Their dad was also in the John Birch Society and said that the Negroes were all communists and that civil rights movement was part of a communist movement to take over America. I'm sure the Koch brothers agree with that 100%, right? Oh, you don't like it when it's applied to conservatives. How about George H.W. Bush's dad, who made business deals with Nazi Germany? Now, look, whenever we bring up that story, I say, look, that isn't George W. Bush. That isn't George H.W. Bush. He was making business deals with Germany, and that's loathsome. And the government stepped in and stopped it at some point, right? But you can't say the sins of the father are passed on to the son, etc. But according to Newt Gingrich and Dinesh D'Souza and conservatives, apparently you can. So I guess that would make... Uh, the Koch brothers and all of the conservatives that they have funded, including the Heritage Foundation, Cato Institute, Freedom Works, and the list goes on and on, they're all communists who work with Stalin, and the Bushes are Nazis. You would agree, right? On this logic, you would agree. All right, good. I'm glad we agree.